Hey and welcome. I am back at another uh, thrift store at Desert Industries and I'm hoping that I can find something good for my bathroom. I redid a little bit here and there just to brighten it up in there and I hope I can find a mirror that I can redo, possibly a um, a bottle of some sort to put lotion or soap in that I can put some vinyl on to say soap or whatever. So I'm hoping that you will stick around to the end to see my haul and maybe I picked up a few antiques or vintage items for resale or for myself. So stay tuned. So this store always has the clothing out front and I thought I might just give you kind of a once over as far as what it looks like in the front of the store. I never show that because I don't think that you might be interested in clothing, but let me know uh, down below. So here we're in the little knickknack area and these look like just three wise men and that was it. There was nothing else left. This one looked like a really interesting collectible for baseball. Uh, player, but it um, was broken. The bat was broken completely off, and I didn't realize it till I just pointed that. <laughs> These little vases don't bring in much, uh, possibly ten dollars. That's not worth the resale for me to bother with the listing and shipping and everything. Plus, it was broken, and it looked like it was missing a couple of flowers. This shelf had a lot of uh, little knickknacks made in China, which that one was, and a, a few little bunnies and stuff for Easter, and I think this is an end cap is what I was looking at here. Now these candles, I'm always looking for lucite candles, so I always look in the bags to see what they are, but that black and orange one just caught my eye, as well as the little swirls, so I love it for Halloween, I can put them out. Now we're in the wood section and if you see any of these, if it's not too deep of a carving, you can actually sand them down and reuse them. You could restain it if you need to, but sanding them down will bring them back down to the original and you don't have that personalization anymore. So keep that in mind when you're looking at uh, cutting boards. Now down here I saw this cute little sign and I fell in love with it is so cute early to bed early to shine although I never do it but I thought it was super cute with the rooster and to put in my kitchen once I get our kitchen painted and redone so as I'm going through there was a lot of uh, like DIY type wood pieces here not so much for resale um, there were some really interesting things but nothing um, is catching my eye right now. This looks like a peg game, but obviously no pegs. And these were interesting. Looks like somebody already painted them and distressed them. And then um, just these boxes were low quality and not very cute. Now I, I like this, the look of this small cutting board and it is vintage. And I'm going to add that to my collection for my kitchen. And, and this thing here, I, I was going to end up getting it to try to resell it. It's a flag display case. But they, they go for, you know, probably about, I don't know, $20 or so. This one didn't have a name on it, so I ended up just putting it back. Now, I wish I would have got this cute thing. It has wheels on it and its head goes in and out. And it wasn't very much, but I thought, no, I'll let someone else enjoy it. <laughs> it was so cute. I could have painted it. Could have been one of my thrift flips. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. And I just wanted to give you a little information about my channel. I do a lot of thrifting videos as well as thrift flip videos where I transform things into other items to match my home decor and I do a lot of decorating on a budget type videos and I'm hoping to do more uh, 
decorating hacks and other interesting videos. So if you like this kind of content, please subscribe and like the video, share the video, and then hit the notification button so that you're aware of the next time I upload a video. And I hope you enjoy this one. See now these I was questioning if these were vintage or not. If you know if these are vintage, message down below and let me know. And I almost got them, but I don't know anything about them. I don't know value wise and it's hard to find anything on Google. And I found that pumpkin candle. That was one good thing I found. So this is a vintage uh, rooster, but it was broken. And darn it, I wish it wasn't broken because I really love that color and that style. And some old molds, statues. And that fish has been at this store forever. Um, Santa wasn't well made. Now this here, I, I fell in love with it. I thought it was super cute. I didn't read exactly who it was made by, but I looked it up. It was valued about 25 to $30. And so I hurried and put it in my cart. And then these two little dolls here, they are so adorable. I just fell in love with them. They, I think they say 80 or 81 that someone made them. But they did an excellent job on these. I just loved them. So I ended up picking those up. And still just looking around. And I thought those were heavier, but they were just very cheaply made. And this box, I wasn't sure what it was just by the angle it was in. And it does say water ball train. But at the same time, I was looking at this little guy. It's a home co, and he is adorable. And I thought that would be cute with my vintage Christmas decorations. So I picked him up. So then back to the train set, I wanted to get a closer look of it. And looking in there, the water was missing out of that one. And I'm not sure about the others because I just stopped at that point. And those are really difficult to ship anyway they will break and water everywhere. This I thought was a vintage piece and it might have been still vintage, but it was really lightweight, uh, thin ceramic and the plastic piece felt like it was gonna pop off at any minute. And they did have a lot of Christmas stuff this time, which I was very happily surprised um, to go through. So this I found on the very bottom shelf. I was so surprised. It looked like a Hobby Lobby piece but I'm not sure because looking at the tag on the other side, um, and I don't show it here, but I'll show it in the hall. I think it said 1990s. And so that makes it vintage, but that one I'm keeping for myself. So now we're in the metal section here and I'm just scanning it for you to see so that you could see what it looked like. And I couldn't see anything that I was interested in. I did come across this end cap of all of these different Santas and I collect Santas so I thought it would be you know I could find something really old and cute in here but that clown was really scary it's a hobbyist piece but it would look scary this was also a hobbyist piece but it was um, just plain and not really what I'm looking for and all of these Santas were either broken or they were made in China and not really well made. And I'm just kind of still skimming through to make sure because you know how I am. I'm very thor thorough <laughs> when I'm shopping for my vintage items. These were horses, but the ears were broken and I think they were scuffed up pretty bad. So now in the picture frames and and small pictures um, you know I mentioned I'm looking for a white mirror so I thought maybe that was a mirror but it's just the frame but also I had to keep in mind that I could get any mirror and paint it um, if it had a wood frame so I'm just kind of checking and then I'm looking kind of at the the vintage frames as well to see if I have if they have anything I can resell but 
kind of going through it. They seem to be either newer or not very cute or broken. And I found this piece and it's a vintage print, also signed. And I'll show you more about that at the end in my haul, as well as these other two pieces. These are so super cute. They are watercolored, but they're actual prints. And I'll show you more about those at the end as well. Now we're in the kind of small purses and wallets. That one was brand new, but it was sticky, that sticky vinyl kind of stuff, and it wasn't, it was very cheaply made. So I don't normally go through the glasses, and I thought, hmm, maybe I could find some retro ones or vintage ones that I could resell, but it's hard to tell anymore because they, some of them don't even have names on them. And if you go by the style like this, I thought that is definitely vintage. And now that I'm thinking, I think it was, but um, I wasn't sure and I didn't want to chance it. I think it would probably be best just to leave it for someone who might even want them to wear. So just going through all of this, I thought this box was a, a really cool box and it's for jewelry. It didn't close very tight. So it wasn't like if you stuck it in your suitcase, it might just flip open. So I, I ended up putting that back. And just kind of skimming, I'm hoping I can find that vintage wallet or um, a some kind of really super cool clutch purse from the 20s or 30s, you know. <laughs> you never know, there's always that chance. People don't, aren't willing to really dig. And a lot of the bottom part was small backpacks and lunchbox type bags. So I really didn't find anything. So then I'm just gonna skim through the purses because lately um, I have, I think 14 purses now that I still need to list. Well, I have 14 purses in my stash, but I need to list maybe, I think, eight of them and I'm just kind of skimming in case there's that one that's gonna like bring a lot of money and in case I want something for myself that was kind of cute um, but it didn't really I don't know what was wrong and why I didn't get it but I don't know maybe like I said I'm I'm kind of trying to limit my stock because I I'm running out of room <laughs> But here are a few kind of cute ones. So if, if you know, I wanted to switch it up, I might be tempted to purchase that black one. And that one was vintage, but it was very beat up. And again, kind of just skimming because there really wasn't that much to look at that caught my eye. And I, try to give you some good footage as best I can so I hope that it's that you're able to see enough that I'm not going too fast I usually quickly just go through the kids aisle for the plushies and uh, antique toys or vintage toys and I came across this cute thing I didn't realize what it was till I got it home and it is a Barrington collection and I thought it'd be cute at um, during July to put out for you know patriotic decorations so I picked that one up I thought about the squishmallows but I don't know I I would have to probably wash them and and then they're not selling for very much so I ended up putting the squishmallow back so I really like to try to find, you know, the vintage stuff. This looked kind of vintage, but again, it's not my style. And I don't know, I didn't find it very cute to try to resell. So I, I ended up putting that back too. It didn't just like grab me and say, take me and sell me or keep me. <laughs> so now we're in the cup aisle. Well, actually on the another end aisle here. And they have cups and plates and bowls and stuff here and I saw those bowls above that have leaves on them I have a, a 
matching vase at home that I need to list to sell and I thought that was interesting I didn't know they had bowls that went with it now these are super cute they're a newer brand made to look old and I thought that would be really cute for some kind of farmhouse kitchen um, and if you wanted to redo your your uh, dishes to that design and now we're in the cup aisle I saw this and I thought that was really interesting it is a pottery style mug I believe and no it's not this one is not the, the pottery but I looked it up and then it's not selling for very much so I ended up putting that one back and this one I found I thought this is super cute farmers market and it's uh, glass and or ceramic and it has a really tight lid on it I thought that would be cute just to sit outside and drink or to take camping and they did have quite a bit of um, like Dollar Tree mugs and that's I guess the typical at every thrift store a lot of um, personalized ones for businesses too I tend to see a lot of that and I saw this one here too and I looked it up and it's not selling for very much so then I'm in the silverware and knives section and right there just sitting there right all together someone must have changed their mind but these are actually I looked them up and they're steak knives and I collect odds and end knives like this with the unique handles the wood handles and bone handles so I picked those up I don't know why I'm so interested in that I think because growing up we had similar stuff and my husband's grandmother I would always go to her kitchen and she would have that kind of stuff too I guess it's just memories I thought about that one but that one was pretty scratched up so now in the clear glasses and vases um, I couldn't really find anything in this section there wasn't usually I can find something but this one just didn't have much in that area these were kind of different for Oktoberfest um, I didn't look them up they really were kind of ugly and I didn't know if they would sell very well now those I, I was kind of checking to see if maybe they were something and this I thought oh I found another spode but nope that one's not it's a, a replica made to look like it but has the star on the top instead of Santa you have to look for that <laughs> so again just kind of skimming and those glasses at the bottom for Christmas time with the holly would be cute uh, if you are a collector but again I'm I'm having a hard time selling glasses so I I'm only going to get them if I am wanting them myself or if I can sell them for a really good deal now these were made to look old those were not vintage and just nothing <laughs> and right behind me is the locked up like vintage and antique uh, collectible stuff and this clue game I thought was interesting they wanted ten dollars for it and I think that's only probably like from the 80s maybe 90s on that particular one but I always check it in case because they always have some really neat things so over in the lamps here I saw that ceramic one with the flowers and then these clear ones are pretty cool looking vintage ones and then I'm just kind of showing you what they had which wasn't very much now we're out in the back area and it's all the bigger stuff and outdoor stuff and a few furniture pieces and just looking through the wood stuff and not seeing anything that is catching my eye too much that shelf is pretty cute but I have nowhere to put that and just showing you what they have that was interesting somebody had made that and put that together and someone did a redo of a magazine vintage magazine holder which they did an awesome job <laughs> and I should have looked at that bird picture 
that was there, but again, I don't have wall space. This would be cute outside. And just kind of showing you anything that might pop out. That was interesting clock, but I wasn't quite sure about it. It looked kind of like it may not work. So then I was trying to get over to the holiday stuff here and the lady in front of me was uh, hogging the space. <laughs> so I couldn't show you everything and they didn't have much um, anyway. So this was really pretty, but it was newer, made to look old and just some foliage there and just nothing really, really catching my eye this time out here. That was kind of interesting. It was made in China and it was newer. <laughs> Little kitty. And this I thought was really cool. It's a mid-century tray, a uh, serving tray, and it has the little doggies on it. And I looked it up and it doesn't really sell for much. I was surprised. And then as I looked closer, there was some damage on the left side of, or right side there on the corner. It looked like water damage. So I ended up putting that back. That was pretty cool egg um, cast iron. And of course, you never can leave the store without seeing a vintage punch bowl set even. <laughs> that was pretty cool. It's an unfinished uh, pottery type bowl. Now this I beat myself up for because I really love it. I thought it was such a beautiful piece. I didn't even look to see how much it was because I'm like, I have nowhere to put it. But I could have leaned it up against the wall in my vintage area in the entryway. So they did have a bunch of these drum sets and I'm wondering if someone either upgraded or just gave up and decided not to do it anymore. This table I found was really interesting and be really cool in a game room for checkers or chess. I just, I thought it was a neat one. Is it just me or should they have just thrown these away and not try to resell them? I don't know. Now I'm on my way home. Next up is my haul. Okay, I made it back home and I'm gonna show you everything I got. These two pictures that I have here are super cool. They are from an artist, a local artist, I think. Um, this one says in Layton, Utah, in our state here. Her name is Liz Pierce, and she paints these. And this one said, I think, 2001, and that one was 2000 or vice versa but I thought those were super pretty this uh, this one is um, oh and there's information on it it says almost Christmas and that one is the 2000 is that 2000 or 2006 I'm thinking it's 2000 and there's only a hundred of these done it's a limited edition and this is number one so if she's some famous uh, artist then these should be worth some good money <laughs> I hope this one doesn't have a certificate it's probably inside because it's thicker I'll have to open that up and see but I just thought they were amazing and I'm not sure again because it's Christmas and it's Santa I'm not sure if I'm going to sell those or not. Then this art piece, this one is vintage and this is, uh, let's see, Richard A. Montenbolt. And I've seen a few other pictures online on eBay. They're not the same exact one, but different uh, outdoor kind of prints and this one is a print it's not an original watercolor or anything but still prints can be worth something if they're signed and he's a good one to get too um, for 
the money. I paid $2 for it. And this is 1985 on the back that they framed this print. So this one is vintage and it's super cute as well. So I'll have to try to find some comps and show you what that one was for or will go for. I'm not sure about that. So then we have this cute chicken picture. I thought this was adorable. Early to bed, early to rise. And if you look at the, it's fabric. And it's, I know it's not hand done. I think it's a machine, but it is super cute. It's a mass made, mass product production of it in Ohio. So I paid a dollar for it. And once I get my kitchen redone, I think I'm gonna put it in my kitchen. Then I just pick up odds and ends things. So let's just go over here. Um, I'm not gonna use, well, I don't know, is that in the, I'll have to sand that down and see if it comes off. Uh, I didn't really want the wording, but I like the idea of how it has that where you can put something in there, like a cardboard or a pitcher in that, or even just use it as a base for something. So I can always redo that. And that was 75 cents. Then I just thought this would be cute with my um, 4th of July stuff. And I paid a dollar for that. Needs to be touched up back there. But the front's super cute. I just thought it was cute, anyway. And then this cute little, it looks vintage, um, but again, I'm not sure. Uh, cutting board, just for decor. I paid 50 cents for that. So that's gonna go with all my other cutting boards. And then this one, I'm gonna paint it um, and distress it black, all black. Or I might leave it this color and put with other frames on my shelf once I get my shelf done in my living room. And I paid a dollar for that. And then in the Christmas aisle, there was a bunch of cute little things. I thought he was super cute. Just made in China, I think, 50 cents, but he was pretty cute. And then this one is, I think, Homeco. So I know it's vintage. That's Homeco. And nothing wrong with him. Cute little raccoon Christmas uh, figurine for 75. Then this one I didn't look up. It's Wyndham Heights Cobblestone Corners 2006, I think it says, for 50 cents. Just a cute little thing to put somewhere in the decor, or Christmas decor somewhere. It needs to be, I think, touched up a little bit, but it's cute. And this one too, I'm gonna put in my Christmas stuff, just piece it here and there. Thought it was adorable. Not really worth much, it's made in China. I did pay $3 for that and I didn't realize how much I paid. That, that was a rip off. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I wasn't paying attention. But then there's these two. They are so adorable. Look at them. Look how cute. I just thought they were super cute. She's got a cute little bunny. It is have a little, does it have something on it? I don't know. But they are super cute and I, I'll have comps of everything, if I have them available to show you. And they were made, I think it has a name, in 81, JB81. So they were made in the 80s. So they're vintage, I paid a dollar a piece for those. Then these knives, you know I love old vintage knives and these are just butter knives. I do have another a steak knife similar to this one and then these if you turn them over they have a cool design I just thought those were pretty neat I'm using my uh, 
what do you call it, flash. And I hope it works okay. All right, so then this is a vintage planter. I thought it was pretty cool. All that glazing and pottery. And look, it's a Hager. And I did barely seen that it was Hager, but I knew the style. And I paid a dollar for it. I just saw USA, I didn't even pay attention, just grabbed it off of the cart that they had just brought out and her and put it in my cart. <laughs> so there's nothing wrong with that one. And I'm sure it's worth a lot more than a dollar. Then this cute thing, look how cute. It says Coco. And it's just them getting in the cocoa, getting some yummy stuff going on there. Oh, I just realized. Oh, her, I didn't even see this. See how it's broken? So I didn't even see that her wing is broken, darn it. But I only paid a dollar, thank goodness. But the. It's a music box and it works and everything. So, I don't know. Guess I'm not selling that one. Oh well. And then, I'm not sure if this works or not, but it is for your lights, for Christmas lights. And it plugs in. And it's supposed to do something fancy. And it's vintage. But I'm not sure the year. Don't mind my nail, it fell off. <laughs> my fake nail fell off. Um, but we'll find out how much that's worth and I paid 75 cents. Then I just pick these up every chance I get. Well, I've only gotten one other one before. I used to have a few of them and somehow when we moved, lost them somewhere. But um, paid 75 cents for that and it's probably just gonna go in my own decor. And so is this. This is Ray Dunn Creamer. And it's really cute. Paid a dollar. And at TJ Maxx it was $5.99. So not a bad deal. Ray Dunn isn't selling as much, I guess, anymore. But I want that for my uh, coffee bar when I get that all put together. Then I just pick up uh, different types of candles. This one is really warped, so I'm probably just gonna use that for uh, emergency candle. But look how cool this one is. There's two of them, and those are, are in good shape. And then I have plenty of these red ones, but I thought that one was a cool one for Halloween to stick out on, uh, I have a few, Halloween candle holders that are hands, like uh, skeleton hands. So I thought that would be cute in one of them. And I think I paid a dollar. Oh, there it is. Dollar fifty. Speaking of fall time, I found this really super pretty candle holder. Um, and it's got some of the candle in it, so I'm gonna just get that out. But it has like the suction thing and everything. I just thought it was really pretty. And I paid $1.50 for it. I just love it. Love the color. Then, this tall metal vase I thought would be cute in my living room with the black, grays, and white and maybe put some pompous feathers up on top but um, or I might even paint it white and distress it the black through it I don't know but it's gonna go in my living room paid a dollar fifty for it then she is super cute and it's the Barrington collection is what she was and I thought that would be cute to sit out at the 4th of July time and with my other decor and or sell her because I think she's worth about $25 to $30. 
then this uh, candle holder. It's ceramic or pottery. It looks like more pottery for a dollar. And I thought I could always paint that to match my decor or glue um, something on top of it and make a cute base of something. So I always try to pick up things like this because you can always use it to transform something into something different. So that's just like a, a project piece. That's what I was looking for. Then, this is pretty cool, it's Sun Tea. It just kept drawing me in and I think it was, an, I know it's vintage, but I think it was 70s, 80s maybe. And it has this cool uh, clamp down lid, like a, a jar lid. And I thought if you don't use it for tea, you can use it for anything else. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that one or sell it because it's worth quite a bit as far as what the comps were saying. Then, come over here if the lighting's good. Let me move this. So I got this... Oh, lighting is bad. I got this uh, reindeer and I thought it was really super cute and I thought oh it can stand up on my shelf well no it can't it's all wobbly so I'm gonna have to glue it to a base and then um, put it on a shelf and it's kind of a brown with a gold uh, distressing on it with the gold and shimmery horns but I, I immediately thought take this off and paint it all white and leave the gold and then distress with the gold the buff type stuff um, and have it all white but we'll see at Christmas time what I do with that and then I just got this tree that I gotta fix obviously but um, I got it for a dollar fifty and it's just a filler to put in here and there at Christmas time. And I got this mug for myself. I thought that would be a cute one to have to go outside on the porch and drink coffee during the summer mornings, but it's a really well-made one. Paid a dollar for it. And I think it can go for like 20 bucks, maybe a little more on eBay. Then there's this. I thought that was amazing. It's Pyrex, it's mid-century, has the, the dips in it. Um, I guess it's called thumbprint. I'm still researching that one, but it is selling for quite a bit on uh, eBay. And I paid $2 for that one. So I'm excited about that one, to have the lid and everything together. And then, last but not least, Look how super cute this is. I just love this one. It's so adorable. It's not vintage, but it sure as heck looks like it, and it's so cute. And it's just like a pop-up type thing. They, it's just like a 3D picture. I thought that was adorable. It was hiding clear back in the corner, and I only paid a dollar for it. And, oh look, it has lights, so it even has uh, battery operation going on there. Now I was going to see if it had a price, but it doesn't. 19... Oh wow, 1996, so it is vintage. Hmm. Go figure. And oh, I see, the lights light up right here on the tree. That's going to be so cute. I love it. Sorry about my lighting. I need a, a new kitchen redo. <laughs> so I found some batteries and checked it out and look how cute it's so adorable I am so glad I picked this up comment and let me know if you would pick this up I just think it's adorable so that's everything I hope you enjoyed coming along with me again and I hope that you enjoyed the pieces that I picked up this time and if you see anything you like, remember to always email me and let me know because 
some of this stuff does get put on my Etsy shop and I always have that link down below in the description box so hope you come back for more videos and always comment for me that helps my video or my channel and my video to bump up and um, like it and share if you would I appreciate you and thank you for watching and staying this long and I hope that you all have a great day.